Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about 10 principles of economics. These principles are given by Gregory Mankin in his book named The Principle of Economics. An economic principle mainly tells us how we can use limited resources to meet unlimited demand. And our whole economics based on these principles. And these principles are people face trade off. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. Rational people think at margin. People respond to incentives. Trade can make everyone better. Oh, markets are usually a good way to organize economic activities. Government can sometimes improve market outcome. A country's standard of living depends on ability to produce goods and services. Prices rise when government prints too much money. And last is society face short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. One by one we will discuss about each principle. First principle is people face trade-off. People face trade-off means people must give up one thing in order to get another thing. People must give up one thing in order to get another thing. For example, if student wants to get higher marks in exam, then they have to limit their times on watching Insta Reels, chatting on WhatsApp or throwing parties. Otherwise, he cannot get highest marks in exam. Next principle is cost of item is what we sacrifice to get it. Second principle mainly talks about opportunity cost. Opportunity cost means loss of other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. For example, producer has only two alternatives. Either he can produce mobile or tablet. Suppose in order to produce mobile, he gave up a tablet. And opportunity cost of producing a mobile is sacrifice of income which he can earn from the sale of tablet but now he can't because he give up a production of tablet in order to produce mobile. Next principle is rational people think at margin. In economics, economists whenever make any theory, they assume people are rational. I mean they assume people consumption decision are not influenced by their emotions. Next principle is people respond to incentive. Yes, this is true. People respond to incentives. For example, a higher price is a negative incentive for consumer. That's why he will consume less. But this same higher price is positive incentives for producer. That's why he will produce more. Next principle is trade can make everyone better off. Because the trade allow countries to produce according to their expertise. For example, country A has expertise in production of mobile. Cost of mobile is very less in country A. But country A don't have any expertise in production of tablet. Cost of a tablet is very high in country A. That's why country A decided to increase the production and export of mobile and reduce the production of tablet and start doing import of tablet from another country. So here we see how from trade country A is receiving benefit. So we can say that trade can make everyone better off. Next principle is markets are good way to organize economic activities because invisible hand works. What do you mean by in invisible hands? Invisible hands means if market is free without any intervention of government, then it will automatically receive equilibrium point because there are some forces that push market towards equilibrium point and these forces will be called invisible hands. Next principle is government can sometime improve market outcome. Yes, this is true. Sometime government can improve market outcome. For example, in case of market failure, government policies can be beneficial. As we know, market failure is a situation when market failed to allocate resources efficiently. In such a case, if government makes some rules and regulation or some policies, it can improve our economy from market failure. Next principle is a country's standard of living depend on ability to produce goods and services. According to this principle, countries which can produce more goods and services are rich and developed country. On the other hand, countries which cannot produce more goods and services are poor and underdeveloped countries. Next principle is price rise when government print too much money. Obviously, when government is printing too much money, money supply will increase in economy. As money supply increases, demand for goods and services will also increase because now people have more money. An increase in demand for uh, goods and services eventually lead to increase in prices. So here we can see when government print too much money, then uh, prices will rise. 
नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज सोसाइटी फेस इज शॉर्ट रन ट्रेड ऑफ बिटवीन इन्फ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल एट शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड इन्फ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हैव है इनवर्स रिलेशन वैन इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल फॉल एज वी नो इन्फ्लेशन मीन्स प्राइजेज आर इंक्रीजिंग वैन प्राइजेज आर इंक्रीजिंग दैट मीन्स प्रॉफिट ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर इज इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज नाउ दे कैन सेल देर गुड्स एट हायर प्राइज and this increased profit will motivate producer to produce more as a result production will increase in economy as production increasing um, that means uh, employer will hire more and more employees if employer are hiring more and more employees that means unemployment will reduce in economy so we can say that short time period inflation and unemployment have a inverse relation when inflation increase unemployment will fall in economy so this is all about 10 principles of economics i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care